Hi, I'm Mark Savage, and when did you last check your tyres? Well, I guess I last washed the bike. Well, get off that bike and check your tyres. Who are you talking to? Just stick to the script. Okay then, let's have a look. Back tyre on these bikes always squares off because these are touring bikes. So realistically, you do need to keep an eye on them. You end up with this flat sort of surface here. And when you're banking, you seem to flip over to it. It's just uncomfortable. Although the tread looks good, you're always going to get this on big, heavy bikes like this. And if you remember recently, went to Isle of Wight, fully laden up with the wife on the back. It's quite a bit of weight there. <coughs> I, I, I mean, there was weight on the bike, not with the wife on the back. And the front tyre? Front tyre though, yeah, 1.6 mil. Although it's a good spread again, this does need changing. So your tyres could do with changing. For tyres like these. I've gone for Continental Conti Motion. Really, tyre choice is down to you. Now you can go to the garage with your whole bike and they charge you a certain amount of money for it. Or you can bring in loose wheels. Today, I'm going to be trying so a long time ago, in one of my videos, I said I was going to use this. So, it's out, haven't used it yet. First, I've got to drill it in the floor without the wife knowing. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't have asked her to hold the camera. However, I've come up with a better solution that the wife's not going to hit me for. Normally I think these sort of things, but when you take them off, they're left with a bolt and you see all that on the floor. So, I'm going to go for the raw plug with a heavy duty bolt. Then, when I pick this up out of the way of the garden, all you're left with is four small raw plugs in the floor. You're not going to trip, no trip hazard and bloody bloody health and safety, but much better idea. Now, being me, I had to buy some bits. Now, okay, a loose wheel is about 15 pounds, and if I take the tire, 20 odd quid. You bring the bike in, so a pair of tires, 60 quid to change them over, and then you've got the tire cost on top. This little gadget was about 70 odd quid, 80 quid. With this, you get two spindles for front and rear tyres or bigger tyres and you get this little gadget and this is supposed to get them on and off but realistically I panicked and thought I need to buy some stuff. So I bought these bars, these are, I don't know, 18 inch bars, two of them and I thought I'm not going to get enough leverage with that. One of the British suit bikes in Brands Hatch, heavy duty ones, these should help. Now I did get some good advice from Dove Man about this little gadget that will hold the tyre. Also, a second top tip was to make sure the tyres are warm. Check. The gadget I bought, and I don't know if this happens to you, I bought it off eBay, it said delivery in four days, then it seems to come through China, end of September, and we're like the end of August. So, before this, I bought some G-clamps. So when I bought some new G-clamps, give it a go to get the tyre on and then clamp one side down at one side at a time. I also bought, okay, five kilos. For the price of one kilo, you get five kilos for a few pounds more, and you never know, I might change some more tires. With the handy brush, a tire valve puller. So you guys to get some punches. And these valves. But on the Triumph, they're tire pressure sensor ones, they're not at an angle, so actually don't need to change them. So I didn't need this or this. Don't tell the wife. Just in case she hits me again. You need one of these little things, and again, I could have made this to be honest with you before I paid for it, but that will get the valve out to let the air out. As you know, I've got several bikes and six to eight tyres would have paid for itself and all my junk, and all I can do it. So, what's next? Drilling it in the floor. Power tools. So first, we need to get the bike on the centre stand. Now, as you remember, on my last video, I lowered the bike. But this has got the jack up and down system on there, I forget what they call it, Triumph something system. And that will mean I'm going to put it on the higher system, get it on the centre stand. And then I need a heavy weight on the back, not the wife. But I need to get a heavy weight on the back so I bring the front up, get the front wheel off. Then the bike will go forwards and I'll get the back wheel off as well. But I'm going to do one at a time, the exhaust may have to come off as well on this one. But we're going to give it a go once I drill it in, get the front tyre off and we'll give that a go. I've always got a backup plan. Now make sure you give yourself a bit of time to do this and it's going to be a long video doing this and I'm going to be squidging around and using the paste on the tyres and so on. 
and I've got to remember to put the paste on this side and try and get it on the inside and squidge it on. Getting half this tie on is not a problem, it's the other half that really is hard to do. Have a backup plan. If you get the wheel off and you get the old tire off and you're stuck getting the new one on, it's going to be a motorbike shop. So make sure that you don't need the bike the same day or you have a spare bike or a spare yummy bike to use. But either way, let's get on with it. So literally very few tools. Allen key, your front two. I always say use a maintenance spray, not WD-40 if necessary. Should get sponsored by them really. Need one of these, Loxford tool. These are brilliant just to get the main shaft off, otherwise you're not gonna be able to do it. Wait in there and literally it just undoes. Now you do need help from a bit of a bit of a a partner to sit on the back of the bike and then use a jack to support it. So asking my uh, wife to get on the back of the bike now to raise the front up. Now with the uh, extra weight on the back of the bike, <laughs> I can now get this front wheel off. Do you remember where the spacers are though on this? The spacers here and here. Be careful, don't lose them or where they should go. Support the wheel, or foot. There's a shank. In my haste, next time, try not to forget about 14 mil for the brakes. 14 mil, calipers off. On a good note, my brakes look really good. Both sides off. Job done. Note, remember what way the wheel goes round. This is important for when we put the new tire on. And remember where these go. I've put them back on the shank so you know which way they went. You don't need to do this, you can let it drop on, well, not drop, place on the floor. But I've just done this while I'm gonna be messing around with the tire. If it all goes wrong, I'll let it down nicely on the floor. It does mean I can do the back wheel, I can let the front down and get the back wheel off. Obviously exhaust has to come off first. Let's have a go at changing this tire. I said, every tire has a rotation. That way. So this tire, front, that way. Here's my top tip. Putting the tire on here, do it clockwise. You'll always remember, clock goes round that way. Seen it before, people took them off, put them back on, wrong. So let's not get it this way. Here we go, right, I've got to adjust all this now. Bash the tire around. And then we're gonna use this breaker. I've put a bit on there, not to damage it. And then, we break the bead. This has to be done all the way around. It would help if I get a bit on there, wouldn't it? This has to be done all the way around and both sides. No, I've never done this before. So I used the bars and I tried to twist and push around and it wasn't working at all. Then I remembered that this bar came, this bar came with it. I used two of my big bars and some cloth not to damage the rim. I lift it up, poke that in, and then you just literally walk it around. That's one half done. I'm not saying it's going to get any easier. Cloth. One important thing on the Triumph. Tire pressure monitor. They're not on all bikes. Don't damage it. A lot of money. And your bike won't work right. So try this side. Get up first. Keep that tire monitor. Hold it in a bit more. And then... Go round, 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 and there we go. And off. Okay, that's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. And I know getting the tire on's gonna be really hard. Remember though, clockwise. 
can't stress that enough. Anyway, there we have one tire off. Clean, I man managed not to damage the rim. Two marks here though. Not impressed, that's before I put the cloths on there. To rub them down a little bit and make sure I don't burst the tire or anything stupid. So, cleverly putting that on the inside and the outside of the tire, I managed to pop the first one down quite quickly to be honest with you. And now I'm getting to the really hard part keeping an eye on that sensor I don't break it and trying to get the best of the tire on. This is hard work. The clamp, I saw they bought that tire buddy thing, um, China, it's never gonna come. So I'm gonna clamp the tire down, hopefully that'll stop it from flipping up again. No, this is gonna get harder and harder. That's a lot of tide to get through. Here we are, I didn't want to be on the valve, but it's okay. Clamping, I'm gonna clamp that down, and see if I can squeeze this on. So this wasn't very good trying to get it back on again, but a big help getting it off. These bars, you've got to learn what side to use getting it off and what side to get it back on again. But these clamps have been a big help. Don't really damage the tire, and I'm well, I didn't want to be in the valve, but in theory, with that clamp there, <sighs> drop the mic. Now, I'm not impressed with the amount of little chips on the side. That's gum, that's okay. Uh, so, tire on, clamps off, put some air on it. Let's have a look. Let's tidy this up now. This was my only first go, and I have damaged the tire, a uh, wheel, should I say, and I'm a bit pissed with that, if I'm honest with you. But it's first time. Next time I use more cloths and, and work it out. But I got that baby on. Let's bang it around a little bit and then put the valve back in and get some air in it and see what we've got. I will say, you'll definitely need a compressor to pump this up. I wouldn't try none of this foot pump stuff, you'd be there for bloody ages. Nice soapy water and then check there's no air coming out of the rim. All right? Don't just slap it on. If you've got bubbles coming out, which we haven't, all good. And you get to wash off all the crap as well. Because obviously, not like a garage, I've used lots. And I can tell you, there's no air coming out of this tire. So, happy days. I'm gonna put a bit of grease in here before I put it all back on. And we are job done. I'm dead. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never again. That. That was just no. Bend up moving all this as well. Done a bit of the rim again. Not particularly happy about that. This was a nightmare. Too big to clamp. Just barely got it on. I did want to show you me putting it on because I was swearing and throwing things around and it's not a good idea. I'd say skinny tires, maybe some steels, whether these are really soft alloys or not, I have no bloody idea, but this is impossible to do. But, <clears throat> completed, front and back tire. Had a bit of panic about what way it was as well, because I'm glad I videoed it, because when I took it off and put it back on again, I was convinced I got it wrong around, even though I did this clockwise business. Getting the back tire on and off here isn't as hard as it would seem, and I'm thinking because, again, it's quite new, and when I did the lowering kit, I said this exhaust was quite easy to get on and off. So the tyre, to be honest with you, wasn't that bad at all. And it just comes down to a case of not knocking the exhaust, lining it up again on here, and then putting these little nuts on. So to be honest with you, it really was as easy, if not, you know, 
sad to say this was actually easier to get the thing off than the bloody tire honestly it's oh the, was it a good idea buying it i mean i'm glad i've done it don't get me wrong would i want to do it again probably not not on these soft alloys and i'm really pissed that i've damaged the alloys um the wife just got another slap in the back of the head because you know it wasn't clever um however i'm going to get this on there get the exhaust on and then I'm gonna go for a little ride. Remember these have got the sensors on these and I need to ride at least a few yards to make it the sensor work out what the tire pressure should be. No more straight riding for me, but I've got to wear these tires in. So it's a dry day tomorrow and I'll slowly go on a few roundabouts over, over and over again. I don't want this flat spotted. Um, the tire itself, I guess wasn't that bad as in tire um, tread on it. It was just, it had a flat spot, but I have been told before not to mix and match tyres, you know. It was a pretty on the back and I've gone for these Continentals. So I wanted to make sure that I had them there. Little trick for this, put your foot on the back brake and tighten these as well. We haven't got to have it back on the floor again. So I'm going to do that, pop the exhaust on and there we go, job done. So there we have the front tyre on, washed and cleaned. Back tyre on, yes I've got to wash a bit of the old gunk off. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're inspiring. I don't know the back of my head hurts me, but it seems to. Please like, share, subscribe, take care of yourselves on the road. Right, there we have both tires on the bike. I do need to go for a ride. I've got no idea where the back of my head hurts. Wait, it's just come back to me why it hurts. She's getting too good at that, isn't she? <laughs> Let's go for a little ride. Like, share, subscribe. I'll keep making them. And I've done it. I think that's the last time I'll do it. Take care of yourselves. Then I should have gone. <laughs> <laughs> God's sake. Maybe I